Welcome back to Garage K. In this episode, I'll be putting a catch tank in the Alteza. Now, I realize that not everybody wants to watch a video to figure out how to put a catch tank in an Alteza, so I'm going to tell you what you need. You're going to need a catch tank with a filter on it so that it breathes to free air. It's going to have to have a 14mm fitting on it. You're going to need some 14mm inside diameter hose because that's the fitting that is on the rocker cover. Connect those two things up, bada bing, bada boom, you're done. All right, this is not to connect up the PCV. The PCV needs to be connected up behind the throttle body. In a standard car, it's connected up to the surge tank, aka plenum, aka intake manifold. You want to mimic that. Um, so you don't want to connect it up to a catch tank because it won't see vacuum there. People have tried that and they've reported idling issues. So if you're running ITBs, you'll want to connect that up to a vacuum block. So yeah, that's literally everything you need to know to put a catch tank in an Alteza. The only thing left to do is decide where to put the thing. I look forward to showing you where I put mine. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so now I've got a Z. Just grab the battery tray out of the Alteza and I want this to sort of sit here. That's going to sit up against that wall there, like that. Uh, now I need to bend this back up that way. We're going to do that-ish. It sits up higher than what I wanted it. I wanted it down there, really, but actually it, it can't do that. It isn't quite right. And the reason it's not quite right is because this step is a little bit too pronounced. Um, it matches this perfectly. As you can probably see, maybe, if the lighting is any good. But it doesn't match this perfectly. How about this? Still not going to give us super low down performance. But I think we're better than we were. I want to go test fit it in the car. And it looks like it's going to have to be modified straight out of the packet, but what's unusual about that? That was attempt number one, and attempt number one sucked. The bracket fit the battery tray and the car really well. It came along the bottom, up the wall, over, and then followed the line of the fuse box up really, really well. The problem is it just didn't match the catch tank that I have, uh, so I redid it. Use a whiteout pen, not a pencil. Then you can see your shit. Two point oh. Yeah, okay. Uh, now we need to drill these holes. So let's take this off and then put it on here and then drill holes. Ricky! Ricky! Now I could tell you that I intentionally did that, drilled it out to 5mm and then tapped it, but uh, that's not what we're about here, we're about uh, being truthful. So I actually made a mistake, I should have drilled it out to 4mm and then tapped it for 5 but I didn't think about it until after I uh, actually drilled the holes that I should just tap this. My original thought was just to put a nut and a, and a bolt on the back, I don't like that fundamentally so I don't know like I just wasn't thinking about this as an option. Then I thought, okay, well, what about drilling this out bigger and then uh, putting a rib nut in it? But then that's like, well, why not just make that M6, 
then, you know, there are no M5s in the Alteza. There aren't. They're all M6, M6 and up. So, at least I haven't found an M5. So, now it matches the rest of the car. <laughs> right. So the problem I have now is that the M6 bolts won't fit through this. So I just need to drill that hole out to a 7, and then, uh, then my M6 will go in. Another reason to go M6 is that I have thousands of them. I don't have any M5, so I would have actually had to go on out and probably buy some. Uh, and I'm trying to do this for nothing, which is why I made my own L bracket. I could have just gone out and bought one of those too. But uh, custom, custom, and free. Right? I'm not as rich as you think I am. Cheap and easy. That goes through there with a tiny little bit of operational movement, we'll call it. Lost the bracket already. Got it. Right. Oh. Magical. It's like it's custom or something. There we go. I'm just going to go check fitment and I'll be back in a second. <sighs> Try that. After eight minutes. There we go. That's what I wanted. That. See how it overlaps like that? I've still got... So it's still a tray as you can see. The battery sits in this area here. So it comes to about there. And then this will sit nice and low. In there like that. Where we're going to go for here. How about here? And then we need to go... Sort of... Somewhere in that box there. Because there's this area here, and that area is missing, I need my bolt to be in this area, right? I marked on here this area here. See, like that. Now, I put a cross through that, and this is where I'm going to mark. The other one, I can't drill from here, so I've just put, it on the, put the line on the other side. I'll find the middle, and uh, I'm actually pretty good at that. Let's see if that's the middle. So we're gonna do this by setting this to there. Mate, look at that. Bang on. I'm pretty good at that. I'm not very good at anything else. I'm pretty good at that. I've been doing this for 15 minutes. That's incredible. And when I say incredible, I mean incredibly bad. How long would this take you to make? A bracket with four holes in it. <laughs> Shocking. Yeah, that sucked. Right, we are drilled out to five. Um, somewhere in the center okay you won't be able to see it uh, let's just go to six and we'll drill six mil holes in the in this and then we can just use uh, yeah I don't want to use a rib cert because then it'll stick up and this will probably wobble I want it sitting flat on there so yeah we're gonna use a regular old bolt and nut technique I have way too much shit on my bench can you tell see my problem is I build shelves put stuff on the shelves and then I've got more stuff because I'm a hoarder. Let's do both from the underside. Break on through from the underside. The six is as blunt as all hell. Let's go six and a half just because. Six and a half is blunt as all hell too.
<laughs> that worked out pretty damn well, wouldn't you say? That's on this solid. I am glad I did this. This is a good mod. Being able to screw that straight into there is very nice. We're just going to test fit this in the car one more time and then pull it all apart again. Paint this. Oh god. It went goodbye. Now I guess you're probably thinking, why did you go to so much trouble just for this? Well, I didn't want this to sit up too high, you see. Once the battery goes in... See the height? I didn't want it sitting up any higher than the battery, and it really does disappear in there. Can you still even see it? Probably not. But, like, we get rid of that. Shoot. Um, it's kind of, I mean, it's there, you can see it, I can see it, but only if I'm really looking for it, it really does blend in. And that's why I wanted it there. See that? Now, this one is an out, which I won't be using. So I need to find this correct thread, and I'll just put a bolt in there to block that off. This needs to go to the blow-by, uh, which normally vents to atmosphere. It goes in behind the air filter. Air filter. So it's going to be running basically stock, so that'll be fine. Uh, let's go in here just quickly. Yep. So this one here will swoop around next to that over here behind and then plug into that there. And then we've got a filter breathing to atmosphere, as it would be OEM style. Yeah. I guess the next thing to do is just to, to paint this thing and uh, then put it back together again. Even in the shed, Greg is a star. Thanks, Greg, for the lights. I put some Loctite on these uh, the other day. They just go in there. Nice and easy. D's nuts on the back. That's on there tight. And that's on there tight too. I don't think they're coming off in a hurry. Let's put this thing on. Got some cap bolts for this. Again, put Loctite on them the other day. So it's had time to dry. I didn't know you were supposed to let Loctite dry, but apparently you are. Right, those are done. Done. Installed. Now I need to get rid of this. Now I had an idea to get rid of that. What I'm going to do is... Alright, so this is uh, M16. 1.5 pitch. If I can... Screw that all the way on. So that's not even a uh, proper thing. Just need an M16 1.5 pitch uh, bolt that's really short, and uh, then we'll be good. Now you might be thinking that's really elaborate and dangerous. Uh, elaborate, yes. Dangerous, no. The vice grips were never going to let go of that bolt, and the vice was never going to let go of the vice grips. So we're good. Uh, why did you even do that? Because I wanted to be standing in that position and use the grinder, but I couldn't because the grinder would hit the vice. I didn't want to come at it from the other angle because I didn't want to flick sparks into the garage onto the cars. Now watching the replay, uh, it did move a little bit, but uh, not very much, and I'm still alive. So, okay. Oh, f 
So just cut a slot in the top there. I thought I was recording. I wasn't. Uh, so yeah, cut a slot in the top and uh, that's done. Now after I cut that bolt, I remembered that the catch tank actually came with a, uh, a bung to, to block up one of the holes. Uh, so I didn't actually need to make this thing at all, but let's have a look at it. So it was either this or this is thread sealer. This is so uh, no oil will get out. It really isn't necessary, but I'm going to do it anyway. It's never easy lining this up. I don't know why. And that should hold itself in there. Shouldn't bounce out um, once the thread sealer dries. Look at that. Now I personally think that looks better. Don't you? It's just gone now. There's no bulb out the out the top it's just nice um, so that's done that can just go back in the car i just need some 14 mil hose to connect from here to the rocker cover and uh, that will be complete but i can't buy that from any store i have to order it online okay i'm back with this hose this hose took me about a week to get from the internet uh, and all it has to do is run from under here around there to here Eat. First things first, does it fit? It does. Excellent. I'm very reluctant to cut because once I cut, I'm screwed. But does this plug in? That's a good question. Is it the right size? It is. It is. Right, so we have a win. Like a hot knife through butter. Right, that's done. Next, hose clamp. Done. Captain Paranoia over here has decided that if I use small zip ties, they're going to damage the silicon hose. That absolutely will not happen, but now that it's in my head, uh, I can't get away from it. So I'm going to use these monstrously big zip ties here. Just to hold that in place that's quite nice a little bit more there we go excellent i actually ended up putting the dremel bit inside ricky's drill and this worked really really well took the material down super quick and uh, that's what i'm with i'm going to go take this to the car now and see how it fits the beauty of using the drill is that i can actually use bits like this proper uh, die grinder bits um and they fit in and this this really bites into the stuff. Okay, round two has ended and we're looking like that. Hopefully that will clear everything and we'll be good to go. Perfect. That was round three. Don't tell a lie. Uh, that's what profile I went with in the end looks pretty good uh, yeah and it fits so that is that done the catch tank is now installed pretty damn good Oof, it's a bit tight. There we go. Just like that. We're in. And that is the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching all the way to the end. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you'd like to see what happens next, press subscribe. Um, yeah, if you'd like to support the channel, you can do that by getting your name on the Garage K door or check out the merch store. Details are all in the description. I will see you in the next episode. Later.